We're rolling. What am I doing? Why is it so hard? Oh, what was I gonna say? <laughs> I'm so bad in front of a camera. I should have properly introduced myself. My name is Beetor. Beetor. I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> One of the Ayan Harab Yad Haram. Haram. We have to speed up because the sun is going through. Okay. Keep rolling. Okay. Village, which is just Christians rolling up. <laughs> I'm from US. Okay. Wait, hang on. Where was I? <laughs> 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 yeah. Can we restart? This was so <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll restart. Hi, my name is Anne. My name is Valerie. Hi, my name is Christina. Hi, I'm Roshi. Hi, my name is Peter. Alright guys, hey, so I'm from Australia, as you can tell from my accent. I was in the side of Gabaretir with five other amazing humans. Guys, what time is it? It's 11:46 p.m. How are we feeling? Excited. Excited? We have lots of stuff for the kids tomorrow. This is only a snippet. Did you film the roommate? I did. He's sleeping. What is one thing that you learned from this trip? Simplicity. Not take the things we have for granted. The value of love. Kindness and patience. A lot of patience. A lot, a lot of patience. <laughs> um, simplicity, like coupled with gratitude. They, they, they're thankful in every situation. Not because they have to, but because they generally are thankful for what they have, which isn't much. <laughs> A lot of things from every person I've met. Uh, I, learned, I learned the beauty of service and how God will always give you back for what you sacrifice. Another thing was the kids. The kids were really simple, really nice, and I feel like I learned a lot from them. joy comes from forgetting yourself and getting out of your comfort zone to serve others i think like i tried to like discipline the kids just putting that away and just like learning to just like be kind to like the children and 
opening like my heart to like them is like more important than like disciplining them. Like, I think it was, it was very inspiring to be able to develop such close connections with all of the kids and the other fellows that we were working with. It really goes to show how God's work can truly bring so many people together in amazing ways, in maybe some of the most simple ways too. If these people can be thankful for the dust that they walk on, um, because it's holy ground, like if God came in Egypt, I can be thankful for like so many more things. So I think that's one thing we want to be taking away. Take well. Okay, so can you tell us what was your favorite memory from this trip? I think one of the things that I really loved the most was the fact that we were able to spend so much time with the kids. The kids were so sweet and they were so loving. Um, they, were, they were amazing to be with. The part of this mission trip was the home visitations, um, to see the simplicity these people lived in and how joyful the families were living in such a simple manner. You can also see how happy the people were to see someone visiting them from outside uh, of Egypt one specific day but when we would do home visits in the evening we would walk up and down the streets of Gabal Deir and the little kids that were in our classes during the day would come out and come out of their houses and like swarm around us and walk up and down with us and or they would shout from you know their door you miss you miss or our names and it really felt like we were home because Everyone knew us, all of the kids knew us, even the kids' parents who we had never met before knew us because they had heard stories about us. So it was just really heartwarming to see the kids be so affected um, by our presence uh, in a good way. So in Gibbon the it's like a whole entire mountain. So we went downstairs, like literally there are stairs that like lead you down to like the Nile. So we went downstairs with uh, one of like, like the Abuna's like sons there. And it was really pretty. We were just like amongst like the cornfields and stuff like that. And we just like made like Dora Shui yeah, and like played like games and stuff like that and it just felt like really homey. Right now we're uh, peeling off El, uh, El Gandib, not Dora, Gandib. We didn't like do anything like extravagant, just like I think like being like amongst each other and just like having like a good time together was like really beautiful. And we watched the sunset. The views was beautiful. <laughs> just like seeing like the Gabba like in the back and be like, oh my gosh, like we live there. And then also like the Nile, like literally like right on the other side, like a couple feet like next to you was really cool. So yeah. Um, I think it would be the visit to the 21 Martyrs Church because yeah. our trip was named after them. So it was very satisfying and humbling to visit them after our whole trip, or midway at least, and um, just taking the blessing of their church and their families. So last question, why would you recommend someone to go on the 21 trip? It really immerses you like in the Coptic history. It tells you about like your Coptic origins. Um, on the weekends when you visit the churches, when you hear the stories, when you hear the miracles, it strengthens your faith.
get to learn so much about the Coptic Church and how the Coptic Church is a church of martyrs and you know how strong is the Coptic faith um, despite all the persecutions that have happened throughout the years. such a blessing to have the chance to go to these different churches and monasteries such as Deir Maharra. It's really getting to like learn about like, your culture. It's like a very like, cool circle moment. We got to like sing like my Coptic church. gives you a chance to learn more about yourself and about our heritage and who we are as cops, but also giving back to our community and our beautiful country. It reconnects you with your roots, makes you discover amazing, beautiful souls that are like you, um, in the same situation as you, and um, have a very similar identity as you. Lastly, you get to meet so many um, wonderful uh, Coptics across the world and it was just a nice fellowship to have with everyone. life-changing if you come with the intention of it changing your life. The mission trip was definitely a life-changing experience and it's an absolute blessing to be part of and I'm very thankful. I highly recommend it because it is a life-changing experience. A lot of people told me it would be and I didn't believe them. Um, three weeks later I definitely believe them. If you come if you come back from the trip more simple and more grateful you're, you're pretty much a different person so yeah I'll, I'll describe it as life-changing. And you know, if I had to rate this mission trip, I would rate this trip 100 out of 10. I would say, <laughs> wait, I just wanted to say like, if you have the opportunity to go on the 21 trip, you absolutely should. It will be the best three weeks of your life. The 21 trip is full of so many opportunities for learning, so much gratitude, and so much love, um, as simply put. What do you think you miss most about this trip? My new family, my fellows with me and serving with them. I, I would go on any other service trip with them. I am very sad to go home. I wish this trip would never end and I wish we just live here all together as a big family. But 